It's a two-person race for the Republican presidential nominee, Nikki Haley versus Donald Trump at New Hampshire. And all eyes are now on New Hampshire's primary. Let's take a look at this report. After Trump's decisive win in the Iowa primary and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspending his presidential campaign, it's a head-to-head -head contest between the former U.S. President Donald Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. The former president is going into these primaries with a significant edge over any other Republican candidate. Vivek Ramaswamy and Ron DeSantis pulled out of the contest clearly shows the mood in the Republican camp. So far, the only Republican contender still standing against Trump is Nikki Haley. Trump has increased his attacks in recent days on how his now primary challenger for the GOP nomination, even as he leads by 20 I'm delegates to, to Haley's eight. But that's all he was doing. And now he's backing a woman that I know very well, a woman that is not capable of doing this job. I know her very well. She's not tough enough. She's not smart enough. And she wasn't respected enough. She cannot do this job. She's not going to be able to deal with President Xi. She's not going to be able to deal with Putin and Kim Jong-un and all of the people that you, the very fine people you have to deal with. And she will not be able to do the job. But New Hampshire is the primary, where Nikki Haley has the best chance since there is a large chunk of voters who are not aligned to any party. I've said from the very beginning, I've been consistent. We wanted to be strong in Iowa. We started with 2%. We ended up with 20%. That was strong. We want to be stronger than that in New Hampshire. And then we want to be even stronger than that in South Carolina. This is a building game for us. The primaries in New Hampshire are likely to be decisive. If Trump wins this one, then this could be an end for Republican primaries. With Ishan Arora, Bureau Report, NDTV.